Do you see what I have today? I am so excited because I used to be a BMW girl and then I stepped away from it. But this is the brand new 2023 BMW 740i. I would say this is the most luxurious car ever. When I'm gonna take you inside, you're gonna be like, what the fuck is going on? I felt like they were kind of liking at some point, but with this one, I think they came back strong. My first car was a three series. Then I got to the big boy, the M5. And then I was like, ah, I got almost the best one. So I gotta go to Porsche. But now when I see this one, I might need to reconsider. This one has a new look, new feature and new technology. So let's talk about the price. This is $90,000. This is not bad for all the technology you get in there. I'm telling you, you're gonna enjoy that. Let's talk about the engine. This is an inline six cylinder twin turbo. Horsepower 375, zero to 60, five seconds. So it sounds a little slow, but we're gonna check it out. I borrowed this beautiful car from Gary at California Auto Rental. It's in North Hollywood. So if you want a fancy car, call Gary. So let's start with the doors because the doors are the smartest doors I've ever seen. So let's say you come here, you hit the button, right? So it opens, voila. But why I'm saying they're super smart is because if you're in the way, the door is not gonna open. Let me show you what I mean. So I click it to open it. So the car knows that I'm in front of the door, therefore it's not opening. It's because there are senses all at the bottom of the car, therefore they know that's way in the way. And it's the same if you want to close it, you just hit the button and it closes it for you. That's pretty cool. Let's talk about the key. The key, very beautiful, very sleek, not too many buttons. I really like it. The grill, I like the front overall. I think it's very aggressive. I really like it besides the grill. The grill is way too big. I don't know what they were thinking. I mean, they've been doing those grills for a minute now. And I'm like, yo, what are you doing? But hey, some people like it, some people don't. I don't. The front looks kind of big and boxy and important. Kind of like if you're a diplomat, that's the type of cars you be driving. Or not you. Somebody would drive you in this. Because I'm telling you, once we go inside, you're going to understand why you can't be driving. The turn signal are really cool. They are gradual flash kind of like a heartbeat, toot, 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 toot. Like, I really like that. In them, they have crystal. The Swarovski, I can say the name, they have those crystal in it. It's super pretty. Under the daytime running light, you have the main headlight hidden. When it comes to the back, I don't have much to say about it besides that it's very sporty. So I like that, you know me. Let's open the trunk on the key. Wow, it's really big. I know it's gonna take me. Am I going? I know you guys want to see. Ah. So like they didn't do enough, they decided that to open the door, you have three ways. So there is a first button right there. That button open and closes the door. So you never like do anything yourself. I mean, besides taking your finger and press it. Then there's a black button that just pops the door open a little bit. So you don't want to open too much, a little bit, that's the button. And then of course, because all of this is electric. So if the battery dies, they make sure you can get out of the car and there is a manual latch right there. So just to get out the car, you have three ways to do so. I told you the inside is insane and it's because on the doors, you have some tablets too. One for you, one for you. So on the tablet, you can do a lot. You can control almost everything that's in the car. You can do the climate control. You can switch your seat. You can decide what's going to be on here. I haven't told you what it is here, but you're going to see. You can do everything, the music, everything. Before I make you wait any longer, I'm going to talk to you about the display button because the display button is out of control. When you hit the display button, it says fall down via theater or fall down. So we're going to do the regular fall down, just regular. 
Look what's happening. Do you see this? Do you see this? This is insane. And you can't see behind me, but the blinds behind me closed. So you know there is no, uh, so there is not a glare that comes to the screen. So you can actually see. This is a 31 inch TV, 31, and it's touch screen. Once you're done watching TV, you put it back up, I hope. So fold up and it's coming back up. then I'm going to show you what the, the first button does. Do you see those blinds? You hear the sound? We are about to watch a whole movie. A whole movie. That screen is huge. It's for like the, the both of us because it's only two. I mean, you can see three in the back. It's a lot of headroom and everything, but you know, you want to be comfortable. So no, two of us. So did you see the sunshade went up, the, the sunroof went up, everything. Also in the middle, in between us, because it's only two of us, there's a fold down center control. There we go. And in it right here, you can put your phone and charge your phone. That's really rare that they have this wireless charger in the back and then you can extend it and there is two cup holders something i found cool too was right here in the seat there is a usb-c so if you want to charge anything you can do that over here too so i know i don't usually start with the back but i had to because the back was the big thing but in the front it is amazing too so in the back it's three ways to open obviously in the front is going to be the same three ways but they're not placed at the same spot so there is this one which is the pop-up then there is one right here on that beautiful thing that i'm going to talk about on that panel that is so pretty i've never seen something like that it does like some crystal-y type of shit i really like it and so right there you can open or you have the latch just in case you don't have any more battery so the trim panel goes all over the car from over there to over here to over here this is so pretty and it changes colors you can decide on the um, infotainment i mean actually i don't know there is no difference between the infotainment and the gauge cluster it's a whole one screen that's really pretty so on that screen you can decide what color this is gonna be diamond vents are hidden it's hidden right here underneath the the trim panel that's really cool and uh, i have the ac on because it's really hot right now and it's actually working then you have some more right here so right here it stops and then it continues right here also you can control the intensity of your vent you know right underneath it if you want to open or close the vent there is like right here some sliders so you decide if you open it close it move it this way whatever if you're looking to open the glove box compartment there is on the panel a little button right here you hit it and voila something so cool when you hit the hazard light like you know you there is a hazard there is something like we know it's all red on here you remember outside it was crystal in the running light so there's crystal in here too gear selector is in crystal I like that the start stop button is also in crystal and this giant circle is also crystal and it controls the infotainment so pretty and it's clear you can see through it when you're inside you can open all the doors at once and close all the doors at once too that's amazing this is touch screen i'm sure you thought that would be it touch screen when you want to switch the modes i was telling you about that trim panel it changes the color of it too so you say expressive look how it is so when i hit drive mode because you know you know we're going to change the mode with me uh, so the color of the car is amazing the panel is amazing and my seat got tightened okay so let me switch to another mode let's say efficient let's see how that's gonna look okay wow just blue I like that. There is another one called Digital Art. Okay. Wow. So it's opening the thing for me. And it's all purple. And it goes even in the gauge cluster. This is amazing. Wow.
the cameras are really good too you see you see behind you you see on top of you it's amazing and you can just press it in the middle right here oh, also i forgot to say there is some more crystal with the volume button yep crystal it's it feels so good gauge cluster is super configurable uh you can put your map you can have whatever you want really uh, and you can even see exactly what the road is like so you'll never miss a turn if you want to lock or unlock your car it's on the trim panel that's in the door i found some more crystal i mean that's all you see right here to control your seats to put it back put it down and something amazing is that when i'm moving my seat it moves the the thing for uh, the tv where the tv is on it's moving so it makes sure that i don't hit the tv let's talk about the speakers they're very eye-catching the the design it's in the door it's super pretty i really like that and it's a bunch of little triangles put together the steering wheel is really soft i really enjoy touching it and you know i didn't tell you it's the m model yes the aim version and there is a little paddle over there that says boost and you're like what the fuck is boost so boost is a 10 second boost like it says where when you drive if you need to pass something real quick it gives you that extra boost so you have 10 seconds of that it just gives you a punch of speed there is a driver assist in this car like you know the teslas and all those cars so it's so amazing on this one you do not have to touch or hold the steering wheel as long as you are looking straight so when you drive make sure you look straight you can go up to 80 miles per hour on the highway and the car will drive itself as long as you're looking straight so just here no hands on the steering wheel but you look straight you can talk to your guest and look at him now you're looking over here also just so you know there is an app an app that you can put on your phone where it's going to tell you where your car is you can lock and lock the car from your phone you can record people in your car or it's pretty creepy like let's say you let your friend borrow your car you can take picture of your friend you can take videos you can do all of that from your phone and then you know you can send it to them and they'll be like uh, how do you see me this is creepy but yeah at least when you're lending your car to your friend you know they can't get freaky in your car because you're gonna know and that's gonna be a whole other thing but yeah also from here you can control everything that's in the car obviously the infotainment is so uh, good to the touch so you have the the displays you have the tsr screen that you can decide what you're going to do also when you go to picture search in your vehicle you can have if you don't know if you're wondering something about something in your car there is a picture of your car and you can just hit the button if you want to change your seat comfort everything's here it's like you can really do everything from this when it comes to storage it's pretty cool too you know you have your two cup holders you have a wireless charger here right here everything is pretty cool yep i really like that car all right so you know me we're gonna go do my favorite and we're gonna floor it right away what i did not expect this i didn't expect this this car is so big so large so humongous like you know i'm used to my little porsche 911 and uh, this is big for me it's moving it's moving fast you know we're gonna stay in sports for a little while and then we're gonna go to that uh favorite street that i have where there is nobody on there so we're staying safe let me see oh it's right here i almost missed this let's see yeah nobody on here oh it's far let's floor it wow wow guys i am amazed amazed like the car is not moving like on the road it's very steady not going nowhere the steering is really light it's light i don't like light like this i like a little you know when i gotta make a little effort but it's fine um the handling really nice yo i really like this car it might make me reconsider because i had the m5 and at some point you know i was like oh i got the best car bmw makes this is i wouldn't say it makes me feel like the mm, mm, i don't know it doesn't make me feel like the m5 this is the m version so it's like eh, you know the m5 is a little sportier to me but uh i'm not mad at this 
this is awesome uh don't really hear the engine it's kind of like quiet you know me i i like engine oh and now i'm realizing the head display it looks like a fucking uh i don't know a plane a rocket it's so pretty i like that i really enjoy that the car is switching colors on us uh with the modes and uh it feels nice i feel like it really goes with your mood so if you're in a bad mood maybe you put something more relaxing if you're stressed but the the sport i really like the sport look i didn't even talk about the seats the seats are so comfy so comfortable um i don't know they did a really good job it makes me really rethink about bmw besides that big ass grill that i'm like uh no sir but i could compromise i could compromise for that i'm gonna push it one more time and then i i return it to gary because gary didn't um yeah Gary is not even in the office today, but um, he has people and he's like, yeah, yeah, come, come. I love Gary. Also this car, if you do not want to drive, you saw everything that's happening in the back. I would really enjoy uh, sitting there, watching a movie, not doing nothing. Drive me to my destination, daddy. Yes, I would enjoy that. Oh shit, I'm about to run the light. We're, we're gonna slow down. I'm realizing a bunch of stuff while I'm driving. So the car, I put the blinker on, right? And now on the infotainment, you can see that your car is blinking. This is crazy. All right, last one. And then I return. Last one. Wow, wow, I'm amazed. This is amazing. Guys, if you're looking for a sedan, that has a lot of technology that looks cool if you want to look like a cool dad i'm telling you it's the car then you get the kids in the back yelling and they're, they're gonna shut up because you're gonna put the tv for them yo it's it's really a good car for ninety thousand dollars i mean if you have it i think that probably be the car you need to get all right okay goodbye i'm, I'm returning right now well i was just kidding about returning the car just now because I didn't try the boost. I need to try the boost right now. Hey, the boost is working. The boost is freaking working. So I'm done. I'm really done. Gary, here is your car.